Go ahead. You are listening to the Bahoma Podcast. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you. Let's do this anyway. Sure. Hi, I'm with the Mahoma Podcast, episode 29, because Brett got the answer correct. Uh, I'm Tim Abbott. With me is Brett Phillips, a.k.a. Bert. Hello. Chris Mason. Hello, hello. And Agent M is at the table. Hi. Uh, Andrew, again, has bailed. I don't know when the next time we'll actually have Brett and Andrew at the same time. <laughs> Can't confirm that they're not the same person, because they haven't been in the same place in a very long time. I can't pull off that kind of facial hair. I just, I just can't. I just can't do it. That's a good point. <laughs> Makes you wonder if it's really real on Andrew. Mm-hmm. I hadn't thought mm-hmm. about that. Glad we hummed the exact same like pitch <laughs> and everything there. So uh, our last one was in October because November and December's have a tendency to suck for us because of uh, well, Chris and Brett have a tendency to work retail now. So and those months suck. So. They do. They do. But it's January 2018. We are back. First podcast of the new year. And we are ready to rock and roll. Not quite sure what we're going to talk about, but we'll figure it out. So basically we're just going to be going over what we've been playing. and uh, should What we... we will be playing from Christmas, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, if it's anybody else, I've gotten several games I haven't really started yet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, well, I was sadly addicted to one game. But uh, that game came to Xbox, so we can talk about some of the differences between the PC and the Xbox version, and the fact that they've been doing some nice updates so far. Um, and then some little news and tidbits, things you may have heard, or something like that, like the Duke controller is making a return. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so on that note, let's just start with what we have been playing Chris Mason. Well, we're going to start with me. Sure, why not? Well, I've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Um was not a fan. Uh, as one of the previous podcasts, I kind of went on a tirade about it. But after giving it some, some time, it's uh, the Battle Royale is very PUBG-like, but not nearly as glitchy. But I guess we'll talk about that in a little bit. But the uh, the actual aspect of it, once it's with one of those games that there's just so much. It's an information overload. It's like, here, here you go. We're not going to really give you too much of a tutorial. We're not going to give you a whole lot of anything. It's just, there you go. Kind of figure it out on your own. So after giving it some time and coming back to it and just getting past the fact that I paid fifty nine ninety nine for a game that's technically free, um, once I got past all that, it's, <laughs> it's very expansive. Um, just the, the things that you can upgrade for your character, when you start, you can actually go in the skill tree and go look. And it's like screen after screen, and it just keeps going and going and going. And then there's also other skill trees. And then when you start looking at the other characters you can recruit into your squad to do different things, it's, very, like I said, very massive. I still don't understand it all. I, I'm not saying I do either. I just I have a much better idea and, and grasp on it than I did before. But there's a whole lot I still don't know. But like I said, there's still a whole lot going on. Basically, the once I understood the fact that once I have a schematic of something, I can now, once I get the materials, make as much of this as I want. So as Agent M was talking about earlier before the podcast, I've, I've discovered, we discovered that you make a main base, and then your missions come back to that main base periodically, and you basically are expanding out and expanding out, and then eventually your base is getting extra things to expand your base out. So once I figured out that this base is going to be my base for a while... I just and that every time you add something to it, it saves it there. It's not like a rehash of a remission. It's you will come back to it, and everything's still there. Okay. So I began to create a labyrinth, so to speak, of horrors. <laughs> um, yeah. His obsession de- to level of detail. I would assume it's pretty crazy. You have yeah. no idea. Yeah, it's it, you, should, you should come see it. Sometime. You compare his to mine, and it's like well, mine's a doghouse well, compared to his. What, it, what had happened was we had gotten a mission to come back to it and she hadn't seen it yet and it was 
fairly overkill. <laughs> um, we walked in and I said, holy crap. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, he's got pyramid-shaped mounds just because they were cool looking like to block it makes them to make have them to have to climb over and i'm like i didn't know you could second. do I've that had, i've got little places where i can duck behind to take cover i've got healing i've got jump pads i've got recruitment pads set up that if i like i said i'm i'm, I'm thinking this is my end all be all the apocalypse i'm gonna make my final stand here well if that happens it's not gonna be for like another hundred hours into but the he's game. ready for it <laughs> but now. i'm ready for it now i've done that that part where okay i've taken 40 hours more than i'm supposed to right now and gathered resources and made ceilings and i've made walls and made wall traps ceiling traps floor traps so that if you're coming now now if there's a flying enemy which we haven't come across i'm in trouble because i haven't seen any like traps for those but Basically, if everybody's walking towards the front door, which is what it looks like they're going to be doing, yeah, I'm pretty well set up. <laughs> so I've been enjoying that. I did get a uh, PUBG for the Xbox. Um, the jury's still out on it. Um, it's very glitchy. It's very laggy. It is very, very much, like I said, I'm used to the Battle Royale, which is much more fluid than this there's a whole lot more detail in it but it's more like call of duty it's very you know these are real weapons these are real kind of you know attachments which you know attachments to weapons not something into fortnite so i'm getting a little bit more used to it but again I it's all about i mean you're in the stage now with PUBG where it's oh what's this pick it up yeah oh what's this pick it up yeah that's exactly what. because when you're like hey i've got a quiver and two shotguns i was like Chris, dude, like you don't need yeah. any of that. Like, I'm ready to go. You're like I. You're like I've got I got a quiver. We'll see. I'm I got this pistol. I've, playing, I've got some shotguns. It was like, yeah. dude, like you tell me you haven't found one assault rifle yet or an ump something that can go full auto, please. Well, then you didn't tell me how to turn something into full auto. As I'm like, yeah, I didn't realize that. I'm still learning. Left on the deep end. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm very feeling like Halo in this game. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm feeling very, like, you didn't tell me not to go this way. I'm over here. You didn't tell me to look down at a 45-degree angle when I jump out the plane so that I end up on the other side of town, and I'm picking up everything under my mind. I'm like, what's this do? What's that do? And I'm like, I walk into a room. There's three guys, and, you know. I left him for one moment in one game. I was like, Chris, all right, you're way over here. I'm just going to follow you. I was like, I'm going to be with you. I was like, wherever you go, I'm going. And then I was like, I heard noise in like one building, so I was like, oh, let me see what's going on over here. Check that bill. And next thing I know, Chris is going, oh, I'm being shot. Oh, I'm dead. And I was like, what? Ah, Chris, I'm sorry I left you. <laughs> so then I come running across the map, kill the two guys that killed him. Yeah. I got revenge for him. You did. The one dude is like, he put his back to the window and just let me unload full auto in the back. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Um, I've also been playing Mafia 3. I got that for Christmas. Um, very very much like Mafia 3 more than I thought I would. Um, that's not a game I, I need to finish Far Cry 4 because that one's kind of been lingering on the side because I want to get Far Cry 5. But Far Cry 4 was one of those games that I've done absolutely everything, maxed out everything. I just need to go through the story and finish it. But the uh, Mafia 3, uh, I'm enjoying just for the, uh, the, the bit of realism to it. Like... The, great story. Uh, the, the story's really good. The music, I really like the music. It's it's very it's kind of Grand Theft Auto, but it's it's not Grand Theft Auto, which is what I like about it. Yeah. I like the the missions. And now, now, as you can imagine, I've kind of tended to once I figured out what wiretaps were and that they started opening up. I'm like, before I progress the missions, I'm going to every area, getting every single wiretap <laughs> before I go forward to do it. But I really like it. The story's fun. The it, it doesn't. It's not something you have to play Mafia one or two. It's, yeah, it's, just, it's basically a standalone Stand story. Have you beat it? No, I played it for a little bit. It, right? I do have it. I got it when it came out. I thought it was a really cool game. Comes to my lines. The graphics for the like weather effect was like pretty crazy. Hopefully they've. Uh, uh, I haven't played it in probably a year, so it's probably wow. updated since then. Really? Um, because like the the skybox got a little freaking crazy when it was like raining. Mm -hmm. It was like it was, it was a little weird. <laughs> I haven't noticed anything with with the rain yet. It's just 
it, like I said, the story's good. The the gameplay, I'm liking. I'm liking the fact that I got an achievement for dumping a body and that gator eat the body. Yep. I was like, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, well, that was the sound I heard. <laughs> um, trying to do very stealthy, and then some missions I'm just like, okay, well, hell with it. I'm going, <laughs> you know, balls out and just shoot everything that I see. I like giving, you know, the options. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of a Far Cry and a Grand Theft Auto kind of combined into one game. But the, the 60s music, the or 70s, wherever it was placed, you know, and the the language is pretty, I mean, just the fact you feel like you're in that part of time. Yep. You know, I really like that, that it's it's put you there. The, they did a real good job as far as, like, you know, I mean, especially because you're playing a, a black guy that's, you know, in New Orleans. Like, probably yeah. in the 60s. Yeah, and you... Not the most, like, yeah. racially And yeah, that's what I'm going to play with Terry in the room. No. Just because of the language that's been there, but it's... You know, they, they talk to them, they treat them that way. You know, it's just, it's very, very interesting. Um, I've been playing Halo Wars 2, Destiny 2. Haven't been, I stepped away from Destiny 2, um, new update coming up. Which Phrase we, I never thought I'd ever hear say. Yeah, I stepped away just, well, there wasn't, there, you know, there's nothing, nothing to do. You know, there's, they have put no other content. We beat, talk about Osiris. you know, the Trials of Osiris DLC came out, um, Agent M and I played it. We beat it within, what, two days? Curse of Osiris. <laughs> and yes, we Curse. beat it within two days. And it was the easiest final boss Hands of any game, any game I have ever played. Wow. But it was so fun. Like, for me, for me, the fun part was, um, yes, it was very easy. Because it just took you exactly where you needed to go. You got a third of his health, right. a third of his health, and a right. third of his health. You're done. But uh, when... My favorite part was... Like, when you get up to him, when you're coming up to him before you, like, get any of his health, and then when you get a third of his health, you know, it, it drops you in that spot, and then you got the little wall sections, and you got all the enemies. Uh, I felt like I was, like, storming the beach somewhere, you know? It was just like, bah, 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 It bah, was, bah. and you're super... That was so... That was, was so fun. much fun. I'm not going to say it wasn't kind of fun, letdown. but it was just yeah. too easy. And yeah. the story, I enjoyed the I story. I didn't die at all. I uh, kind well, of, I mean, I died a few times, but I, I didn't die wanted, in that part. I kind of wanted the story to be more, and I felt like they let Ooh. us down so much because it's time travel. So they had a chance. They they alluded to it several times, but they had a chance to go back to all these different locations from Destiny One, and could have really grabbed us a lot, like it, just to show you know show up somewhere like uh, in from the Vault of Glass or. Uh, on the moon. That would have been the moon, so cool. the moon's not even in Destiny 2, so any place on the moon would have been amazing. Uh -huh. You know, some of those other locations, those locales would have just, like, taken you there. But they didn't do that. They they just gave us, a you know, the same thing that they did in Destiny 1. That first DLC was just like, okay, we're done. What else? And they there's nothing else to do. They added something to the raid. And, again, their matchmaking with the raid still sucks. They, they say they added, but I've tried it. I've tried to go into the raid. I've tried to go into... The, uh, the thing to look for partners, and it doesn't work. It only works if there's another five people in my region that are looking for somebody at that moment, which I, I get that, but at the same time, it's just you're taking it away. There's no, um, what was the thing we did? You, and, you, me, and Agent M. Oh, the... Challenge of Elders? Challenge of Elders. So there's no Challenge of Elders. Oh, there's nothing else to... I love to, the Challenge of the Elders. I do, but it was something else to do, and you took the knife fall away. Now, <laughs> speaking of that... There is an update coming out with a, another live event, um, the Crimson Doubles, and they are taking the time limit away, thank God, finally from the, and they're putting scoring in, strike <coughs> scoring, which I'm a completely okay with. If it takes yeah. me three times to do the Nightfall, an hour apiece, to get the scoring right, I, I'm actually okay with that because that's tangible. That's something that we can be done. There's nothing more infuriating than this. Okay, here's 15 minutes of bullshit that you have to do. Well, especially when they were like, oh, you you want to do it. You need to be this level of, like, 260 or whatever it was. But it was like, no, you, you really need to be 280, like 300. 290, 300 to really be able to do it correctly. To say it, like, we're at, what, three, I'm at 305, 310, and it's like, like you say, 260, 270 is what the nightfall is. But we still can't, three 300s still can't do it because you have the... The jump through the hoops thing, or something else that like kill the, the oracle, kill things. the oracle things that we can't, can't find, find anywhere mm. to add. And, and then, then we spend too much time looking for them. The We're thing wasting on there time. That the, uh, the health doesn't come back. Your shields don't come back unless you're moving. But you put three yellow bar ogres in every single high that you can possibly imagine in the biggest area possible. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. so even when you do hide, you're getting hit with splash damage. It's 
I'm excited for this DLC because it to me it brings the Nightfall back. So even it's giving me something to play, even though it's not giving me anything new to play. It's giving me something to play because it'll make me want to come back and play once, maybe twice, with two different characters. Yeah, maybe I'll come back now. You know, at maybe. least once a week. You know, we even got to that point where we used to at least play Every once Tuesday. a week. We would yeah. play, you know, Challenge of the Elders, try the Nightfall, and then that'd be done for the week. I might play more, but that you'd be done, and yeah. she'd probably be done, and that that's fine. But we've gone months without playing now because there's nothing left to do. You can't get anything higher. I miss the Challenge of the Elders, honestly. I did. Too. I had fun doing that. It was when we had our too, because we we had it down. Like we were we were setting oh, records man. every oh. week. Because it was, you'd hit your special, I hit my special, and immediately we've got it back. Like, like that was oh, yeah. fun. Me and Chris hitting the arrows and yeah, cause chaining all. Yeah, because it was just orbs oh, everywhere. Fantastic. They're also bringing back the 6v6 multiplayer playlist. Oh, thank God. Yes. 4v4 sucks. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Con- the multiplayer talk real quick. It's awful. Yeah, I'm not a, as big a fan. Um, Iron Banners and Iron Banner, the way they did Iron Banner is bull crap. I was like, are we going to be able to actually pick which one we want to play yet? Like, you know, that if I want to play... And... Yeah, they'll have separate playlists for 4v4 and 6v6. But even but if, if you're not, on a 6 no, feet, can you still choose, like, I want to play... Deathmatch, or you want to play... Deathmatch, or I want to play... Or... I don't think so. That which, uh, I was going to say, that's the other thing with the multiplayer is... If you like so this, so annoying. You can't pick the game type you want to play. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's like, in this playlist, but good luck to you. Yeah, what was the playlist where it's like the three areas and the control? Control. control. Yeah. There you go. I was yeah. see, and you control it. <laughs> mm-hmm. control. control. It's like I just want to play control. That's all I want to do. Yeah, I love control. Is one of my favorite ones. I like the one that's like kill confirmed um, supremacy. Yeah, that's a, know, that's all right. I like that one. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like rift. I don't like the new one, um, which was countdown. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I hate Countdown. Anything that, that you die and you have to wait to come back to, I'm like, it's, I mean, it's no, just like you. Trials of Osiris. It's like, I, I don't want to do that. I'm like, I'm going to die. I'm, I'm willing to accept that I'm going to die multiple times, but I'm going to take some people down with me. That's the fun of multiplayer. It's not, yeah. oh, I died because somebody shot me in the back. Now I can sit here for five minutes and wait till you know. That's why I like with Call of Duty. I, think I never play Search and Destroy. Yeah. Because once you're dead, you're dead. So, but. so. Are we going to come back and talk about what we also got for Christmas that we're not going to... We'll do that later. Okay. So, so. I think that's pretty much all that I've been playing okay. here lately. <laughs> now, Halo Wars 2 still has been a mainstay. Unfortunately, there's no more DLC. They keep they made it uh, cross-platform now, so you... Um, play with you PC. Play PC, which I know is nice for some people, but as far as us people you know, wanting the content, I think it's pretty well done as far as content. Well, they gave a lot, though. They did. Yeah, it, it's did. it's massive. The it's fact that we had, we were just talking about, they had 14, 15 leaders with unique powers, unique units. I mean, everything that we wanted in Halo Wars 1, they gave it to us in Halo Wars 2. Do I want some more maps? Yeah. Do I want more? I want more because I'm a fan of the game. And that's just going to be natural. But, you know, it is what it is. But it's so much more than Halo Wars 1. So, you know, I have my fingers crossed that maybe one day we'll see a Halo Wars 3. Maybe. Okay. Agent M. Have you been playing that didn't include anything that Chris said? So I've been on a mission to go back and play some of my older games that I've had for a long time. So my list is a little bit more varied. It's not as new. Uh Um, I played Final Fantasy V. (laughs) That's why I was prefacing before I spoke because these are just... Old classics that I wanted to play. Yes, Final Fantasy V. <laughs> I was like, she said five. I was like, I was waiting for 15. No, I, like, I only... Five no, or, no, no, no. You know. No, I, I played Final Fantasy V because I bought it on the PlayStation Store from the classics. Because I always say I'm the, a fan of Final Fantasy, yet I've never played anything prior to seven. Seven was the very first one I ever played. And yes, seven is the best one. Uh, but I never played one through six, so I kind of had that as an idea. Um, I also, uh, let's see, I've played <laughs> all three God of Wars. Okay, again, random. Yeah. Great games. Random. So, again, I I had a lot of time off around Christmas, and but I was trying. when you trying... played the first one, though, didn't it make you want to play the second? And well, then when you played the second, did. didn't it make you want to go play and the I third? And I kept sending a message to Chris because I was like, dude, it is bad. Like, in both, like, awesome bad and, like, he's a mean guy. <laughs> Like, oh, he's a dick. He's not going to help you. <laughs> if you're calling out for help, he's going to use you as bait and burn you alive. The, the one from the first one where he let the guy burn to death because he needed to use his carcass to do well, something. And then there's, <laughs> he takes a, the princess and he props her up underneath the wheel so that when the crushes her, her body stops the wheel oh, so yeah, he can yeah. get through. 
I'm like, I mean, it's literally, she's like, I mean, that's, that's, uh, this guy is not your typical protagonist, so. That's what makes him lovable. I, that's why. I don't know that I have to say <laughs> lovable, but um, oh, wait, but... I, I really enjoyed, and I enjoyed 3 the most, because as you could tell how much the game improved, but oh, yeah. I, I played all three. I started and beat all three of those. Um, I also did uh, the Touring Test, uh, which was an Xbox Arcade, uh, Xbox Live game that was free. Game with gold. It was a puzzle game, so and I love puzzle games. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare yep. 2. I got okay. that. I got that during the Games sale the they had. Yeah. Um, they had like this awesome sale around Black Friday, and I bought way too many games. <laughs> um, uh, and that was one of them. Yeah, I bought Just Cause 3. I was saying, you guys... You guys really should do the make her Xbox your home Xbox and your home your Xbox her home Xbox. Because if you buy something digitally, it downloads on. So if you buy something digitally, it downloads on her machine, and then you both can still play it if you're logged in. So you buy the game once and you get two copies, basically. Yeah, you'll have to show us a little bit more about how to do that because I know Zoom um, and Raw do that all because, the time. Because because you get you get. Two was it licenses or whatever? With well, it's basically it? like, it's like it, one for whatever Xbox game is like the whatever game is the home Xbox. Mm-hmm. That Xbox is the like whatever account is that home Xbox is like the Xbox Live and all sort of stuff too. Um, but it's then so like you don't have to be logged in so she can play it, but you would have to be logged in at your Xbox at your house to be able to play it on Xbox Live. Um, to, that way it shows that like you own it. And stuff along those lines, but it's still both of you can still play it. So it's like you buy the game once and you get two copies, basically. It's a weird little workaround that people have figured out and stuff along those lines. It's just like you just have to trust the other person whose Xbox it is, which I would assume you trust your sister. I'm so. Pretty sure. <laughs> so and and I actually have been playing that with Chris because he already had the game and um, we played that quite a bit. See if you do that, then you can get PUBG. She can play PUBG with us. I don't think I want to play PUBG. <laughs> I played the Battle Royale on Fortnite one time, and I somehow ended up in the top seven, just because where I landed, there was no one around, and I spent the That's whole time running. That's what happens in PUBG, too. You just kind of hang out. And then the one time I found someone, I died. You know, like, I wasn't fast enough on the trigger to realize, oh, that's a person there. Mm-hmm. So I don't know that I would enjoy PUBG, so oh, I don't mind watching PUBG. y'all. Everybody enjoys no, I don't mind watching. But is fun to watch too. Um, except for when Chris forgets that I'm watching, then then that gets really boring. Um, I also bought Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. Oh, <laughs> this score is Jeopardy. And we need to play that later then. I have yeah yeah we actually we can you're right I completely forgot. Um, oh, we're playing some Jeopardy later. Heck yeah, or Wheel of Fortune. I oh yeah, definitely no, Wheel of Fortune. No. I mean, H and M's going to destroy all of us, but. You don't understand. It's like playing Scrabble with her. It's like playing Boggle. It's just no need. There's just no point. Oh, so have you tried the new Words with Friends 2 with uh, no. with her? <laughs> yeah, so I bought that on that sale at Black Friday, and I've played both quite a bit. Let's just say, like, Boggle. I'm making words that, the, it, and she's like, you know. The uh, source. Florence. <laughs> it's like. Eight, what? And she's going this, 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 this. I'm like, you know. Not quite to that level. Yes, but, yes, it is to that level. But I do enjoy, I, I love, love Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, so I'm totally down for playing that later. Um, and then I also got Rocket League, which I haven't played much. I have that too. We both bought it, so. Wait, what? We both got Rocket <laughs> yeah, we League. we both bought Rocket League, because it was like six bucks. What? Yeah, and then we got a couple of the extra cars, because it was like $1.99, yeah, but, but it was like part of that sale. And- Batmobile, Batmobile and stuff like that. I think I bought a couple of the Hot I, Wheels cars. I played once, but I know you Andrew's guys... Andrew's going to be so freaking surprised. It's going to be freaking crazy. Well, I know you guys have it, so I meant to tell y'all so that maybe we could play sometime, because... Oh. Terry loves it. Tuesdays, we'll rock some Rocket League. I, I, I played one time with Terry when he was over here, so I haven't really gotten into it much, but it was kind of fun. See, I don't, like the, I don't like soccer, though. We play hockey. I mean, I'll no. play whatever. I don't know what Hockey's all Hockey's easy because the puck doesn't bounce. So. See, I, don't, I just don't know what all He's the options the wall. are, so... Boost jump. <laughs> That's it. And Lego Ninjago. <laughs> Ending on Lego game. Okay. Man, you were so, all over the place. So I bought like four Lego games off of the thing. I bought Lego Avengers 2, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Ninjago. Um, I think I have Lego Marvel Super Heroes. 
and or Marvel Super Heroes 2. One of them that was number the second, two. Yes, the second and one. then I got the Lego Adventures, I think. And then the Lego Ninjago movie. And that one I've been playing and I've almost beaten and gotten all the achievements on that. So. I bought... Does it? Do I have to be the one to have played it? Does that qualify? Because Terry mm-hmm. just beat Star Wars Battlefront 2. There you go. I haven't beaten it. He beat the whole <laughs> campaign. And, he's and also, you're one proud dad. Yes. So. And he also beat uh, uh, Back to the Future, the Telltale games. Oh, nice. Which I haven't played yet either. I I played and beat it and got all the achievements on it. I was almost through that game. I got like one more chapter left. I just stopped. So I have like 800 to gamer score. <laughs> and, and then I'm also playing some of the stuff with Chris. Fortnite, Destiny 2, you know, Far Cry 4 I pulled back out the other day because I want to finish that before I start. I got uh, some games for Christmas, and before I get into those, I want to finish for Cry- Far Cry 4 because that's kind of a massive game. So that's it. Bert. I want to hear all about that Blu-ray player. Blu-ray player, <laughs> F1 racing, I'm assuming, yes. Formula 1. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, let's do, we can just go ahead and take Assassin's it. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Origins, Blu-ray player, F1. Did we leave a game out? Uh, the Occasional Halo Wars. The Occasional Halo Wars. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> much what I've been playing. <laughs> um, so you've been playing Origins? Yeah. What do you think of Origins? Uh, visually speaking, the game is gorgeous. Yes. Um... I kind of fell off the Assassin's Creed bandwagon after Black Flag. Oh, um, I haven't listened some. I Ooh. played. I played about five, maybe hours of Unity, and I was like, I the, I might as well just scrape a cheese grater across my forehead because that'd be more entertaining than this. Oh, I like um, Unity. Really, I started Unity, I just, and it Unity. it picked right up where Rogue <laughs> left off, and I enjoyed it. I mean, I just because it was so similar. Yeah. I was a little tired of it, so I stopped because it was like, you know, 0. 0.5. It was like, it wasn't any different mechanics. Mm-hmm. It was yeah. exactly the same. I think it was just like... The fact I actually beat Unity. I, I just don't beat Assassin's Creed games, but I beat Unity and Syndicate. I, was really I, think, I think this was the time period. The French Revolution is just not something I was interested in. Um, plus, I, I, did, I did struggle with the Black Flag because I couldn't stand Edward Kenway as a character. Uh, and... Black Flag really wasn't like a good assassins game. It was a good pirate game with that assassins great in it. Game. Right. If you want a good pirate game, yeah. Black Flag is the one for you. But it really was. If you want a good pirate game, I'm thinking about that. Was it Sea of Thieves? Sea of Thieves. 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 March. Kind Which actually, there is an that. open no closed beta coming end of January. If you pre-order the game, you get into the beta. So just go on Amazon, pre-order the game, get your code, cancel your pre-order. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about it because I was. It's we January were talking a bit twenty. About that last night. January twenty fourth. Yeah, 24th, yeah we were talking about it last night. January twenty fourth through the twenty eighth. I actually got into the closed alpha. I haven't played it yet, but uh, I do have it. That and Far so. Cry Five are the next games coming out that I kind of, mm-hmm. I'm kind of interested in. I probably, I probably won't wait till like a birthday to get them, just because. Which I mean, I should because I, I still have some other games I need to play, but like they're they're two that have my attention currently. Mm-hmm. Agent M is taking a cat picture. <laughs> um, <laughs> but so, like, this Origins, I, I like Origins because this is a time period which I really don't know a whole lot about. Um, but it interests me. The what little bit I do know interests me. And it's that's one of the things I like about these Assassin's Creed games is because, yes, it's a fictional. You have fictional characters in the story and everything. But it's all wrapped up in historical events, so... Um, and I'm really interested in history. Did but, you like uh, three? Uh, I never actually you never played, played three. three? Oh, see, that was George Washington, mm-hmm. and... the Revolutionary War, yeah. and everything. Which I probably would have. Probably that was the worst one, though. Yes, that's what it, I've heard it, too. It was, but knowing <laughs> your mm-hmm. which w- the history you like, yeah. I thought that would Did be you the one Shotgun you'd too? like. Uh, I. Well, was wor- the, I was working my way through the Bioshock collection, and then. August happened, and Formula One 2017 came out, and Bioshock has only been in my Xbox once since then. <laughs> um, you need to fix that. I'm That's like such a good game. I'm All like those. halfway through the second. And they're one. so simplistic. There's not. There's. Mm, it's a shooter. The rest of the second one. And it's a you know you upgrade your shooter. It's, it's there's not yeah. a lot of activities. I'm it's totally it's gonna go, go back shoot. and replay that. Yeah. 
I mean, because they so, were that good, I would yeah. play. play I keep waiting to like again. pick up the collection. I've, I keep seeing it on sale. Yeah, it's gone yeah. on sale now for like twenty bucks. You get the DLC with with number with the collection yeah. and the DLC, which you've never played. No, I beat one. You and have I'm to play two. because well, it's a. And it's apparently, awesome. in, no. apparently about, in two, uh, Minerva's Den is supposedly like one of the best DLC packs you ever get for a game. Yeah. Well, I disagree. I think some Borderlands 2 has some of the best DLCs. Well, I kind of have to agree with you. I mean, like, story-driven stuff and everything, like, what well, for Bioshock. Fair in, enough. In general. Or maybe story, because as far as I, I think, is it, well, you might be able to tell me, is Minerva's Den, is that something, doesn't some DLC connect Infinite to the rest of them? It's uh, Buried at Sea, and it connects Bioshock Infinite to the original Bioshock 1. Because that was the which only Which is the, only the most qualm. awesome thing yeah. ever. Like, I want to go replay it, like, five yeah. times. Because that was the only so qualm good. I had was calling it Bioshock Infinite. Because I'm like, other than playing like Bioshock, it has nothing to do with the story does, of 1 and 2. It does. That's why you have to play Buried at Sea. Okay. It's split into two parts. And yeah. and you, you play them both, and it will all make sense. I think I need to do that, yeah. too. Infinite oh, yeah. is one, I think, if you can get through two... You would absolutely freaking Infinite love is amazing. Infinite. That's what uh, one of the guys at work has been telling me. He's like, uh, he's like, yeah, you're. He's like, if you get to Infinite, you're gonna just. He's like, you're not gonna put it down. You're not gonna play anything no, else no, until you get to Infinite. He's amazing. So, so but break your we brain. Can't at the be, end, we but... all can't be wrong. Okay, so you need to. <laughs> so, but, but, your but Formula One. <laughs> um, so how is Formula One? Uh, it's good. I'm almost done with my first uh, my first season. That's coming down to the cha- the final race of the season. Uh, one guy's ahead by two points, and uh, the third 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 place guy in points has a, is eleven points behind. So, any one of those three could win in the last race of the season. It's gonna be interesting. I'm in fifth place in points. Why are you in fifth? Because I'm in a I'm in a lower down the grid car. Are uh, you gonna be taking any time off in May? Uh, for the Munchkin. E uh. Couple I think the um, I have to check at work, but I think the the only the maximum they'll let me take off is three days. Really? Yeah, that's it. Boo! Wow. If if, if I'm lucky, <laughs> that's dumb. Uh, one week. Because like, you do get the day <laughs> of birth, right? Yeah. Like they will let you be. We'll Speaking let of you which, have an extra long lunch. Oh, okay. It, <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be a case of like I'm at work and she goes, "Hey, uh." I gotta go to the hospital because this yeah. thing's coming. And Speaking of which, uh, to the ones that are listening to this, oh yeah, Brett is having a kid. <laughs> well, his wife's having a kid. He helped. <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm. I might be too. Um, but, so uh, uh, wish him congratulations in the comments below. Yay! Uh, <laughs> have we had a podcast since Candace has been born? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. It was October. Did October? Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, we, came, we only came back once. And we said, now we there's a new person. member of the family, and mm-hmm. and then we yeah. skipped. And then we skipped November, December. So it was like it was like we could try and do it through the mixer thing, but I just, I'm not a big fan of the mixer thing. Being in, in person's more personable. Mm-hmm. I agree. Especially because so. I'm plus like, we get we to play board games afterwards. Raid. We could do the raid instead of all sitting here. We could all do the raid. We could all do the raid. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is <laughs> like, if we could all get together, we have six for, people here. We could just the, do the raid right now. Well, his point is, if we can all get together to do a podcast, thank you. Then why can't we all get together to do a raid? <laughs> if you can agree to all meet at one podcast point. takes about an hour of time. Hey, the, the raid. How would you know? You've never been to Vault of Glass I... would take an hour of time. I do like the Vault of Glass. We got it. Yeah, we got it down to where we could do it in we, like we, 40, we 45 minutes. We could, man. We were us rolling. several times to get to that point. Yeah. And I, the other reason is, I, I, I think it I got really forced. frustrated last time we went to the race. They had that, like, where they boosted the Vault of Glass, so the damage and stuff. And so we got to the part where it was, like, the, yeah, that before one the was dude just, showed up. That was, was like, infuriating just, for the Templar. I couldn't have died. Yeah, I couldn't have died, died so many times. It was so mm-hmm. annoying. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was like playing it on hard. Yes. But we weren't playing it on hard. It's just that they increased the difficulty. Yeah, it was stupid. Sorry. Tangent. Anyways, Brett, keep going. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, I really haven't played a whole lot. I have Call of Duty World War Two. It's Ooh, still in the yeah, shrink wrap. That's another one. That's um, another one. Let's talk about that. Have but, you, tried, uh, you haven't played the zombies, though. No, it's still in the shrink wrap. Oh, sorry. Never mind. It, anyway, it's, the zombies is right off the menu. I'm sorry. It's right off the menu, so you don't have to play the campaign to beat it, like in some of the previous ones. We're kind of butting into Tim talking about no, what he's been playing. No, no, we're not. I've been yet. playing Call of Duty, so we're getting there. Yeah, but it's it's really <sighs> fun because it's really grotesque. Have you it's the Resident Evil on Call of Duty is, is basically what it is. It's not 
not that it was cartoony before, but it, there was a certain expectation. You knew it, the zombies were not gory. The zombies were just, you know, they were zombies. They had glowing eyes. They didn't have blood and flesh dripping off of them like these With guys barbed do. Barbed wire Barbed wire, the like face. Silent Hill kind of stuff. Mm. Like, it looks, they're gnarly. But it's very zombie like, hey, there's perk machines. Hey, there's that, and the names are almost similar. Yeah, they're they're coming there out. There is of a way. version of Speed Cola, Stamina Up, Juggernaut, up, Quick stuff, Revive, you know, but they're named different. It's not the same. The the one like you can't build boards up to stop them from coming. They're coming one way or another. But we made crawlers. They the they drop out the ceiling like out of, out of the thin air. If they, they crawl want. out of the ground. Yeah, and it's quite often you come around the corner and they just jump out at you. So I just have to say, (laughs) I have been a fan of zombies my entire history of playing the Call of Duty zombie games. I hate this version of zombies. (laughs) It scares the crap out of me. I am one that can watch a horror game, but I can't play it. I can watch Chris play Silent Hill, Dead Space. Uh, Yeah, he streams Resident Evil, Biohazard. I can watch it. I can't play that kind of game. This is that kind of game. Literally, you have to play a prologue before you can actually play together. And I am screaming because things are jumping out. And on the headset, there's I walk into a room, and there's creatures and vats. And then there's a sound, and I'm like, what was that? And Chris is just laughing at me because I'm like, Chris, I don't like this. There's something, cro- there's something creeping behind me. <laughs> and Chris is out, you know, letting the, letting the guy chase running I around. Played, a- I played the prologue just a few minutes ahead of her. So I knew what was coming. But and I'm like, oh, actually... that's going to be fun. She's going to love that one. So I knew what she was but getting then into. then when you actually get to the multiplayer map, you get to these areas and you're, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the lab. I'm like, dude, there's like vats with creatures in and they jump at me as I walk by and I scream. Yeah, they're interactive. And that's then, cool. And then we actually, the wave starts, they bust through. We're coming through and they bust out. And I'm like, that's not right. That's not right. And I keep telling, <laughs> the whole time we're playing, I'm like, that's uncalled for. That's uncalled for. No, you didn't for. say that's uncalled for. No, you didn't say that. No, I was kind of screaming, and then when we got done, Chris is like, you want to go again? I was like, no. No, I'm done. I've had my fill. I'm finished. Yeah, I don't really ever sad, need to play I was like, I was kind of geared up. I'm like, so, it kind of reminded me of the uh, Black Ops 3 campaign that had the, that basically replaced the entire campaign with zombies in a, in a somewhat different story. It's kind of taken that it's like hey there's like a there's yeah, which a second, could have been a lot cooler but could have been it was cooler. kind of disappointing but, but at least this is kind of a whole separate thing. i will play it with with you two since y'all both have call of duty world world war Two. i will play it once <laughs> with you guys and then i will sounds be, like a tuesday i will i i because y'all have to experience it once but i'm gonna have the lights on because i can't have the lights off and i may not have the volume up really loud on the headset either because it scares me. I set up my stream. Can't play without streaming. Now. Oh, no. hey, that'd be a good one to stream. <laughs> well, no, because not as, as long as no one can hear me screaming. Oh, they'll hear you. <laughs> if I have it set to come up, but everyone's chat comes through. And it's and it's the it's the weapons you like. You know, it's the oh, the yeah. World War Two uh, era M1, weapons. M1 Garand, BAR. Yeah, it's got the MG42. Yes. 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 MG42 he, makes he a comeback. He said from the other, he's like, oh my gosh, I just got an MG42. I'm like, no freaking yeah. way. I was like, guess what I'm standing in front of? And she was like, what? I said, a box with question marks that gives me randomized weapons. Does this not sound familiar to you? Yeah. I was like, how can this be? Because it's said, not Treyarch. You know what? There's a light coming up. She's like, I see where you are. As soon as he said that, are. I looked and I was like, there's a beam of light over mm-hmm. on the corner. It's not called health up, but it's like, you know, the... Juggernaut, it's like it's like extra. Oh, no, it's it's like extra armor. Uh, yeah, armor up or something like that. It's like mm-hmm. okay, there's Juggernaut. Here's Speed Cola. Here's Stamina Up. You know, here's Quick Revive. That's one of the first ones you find. Is Quick Revive. You know, it's you know we're calling them Quick Revive because that's what we've had for years. But it's, yeah, it's different. But everything's on the walls. But it's it's got that piece that's very similar to the like I said Black Ops Three campaign where you can upgrade upgrade attachments and when you buy guns off the wall they have those attachments that you earned so it's nice to have the extra clips the extra sights you know except i'm not gonna play long enough oh but you will but you will (laughs) you'll come back to the fold okay well when i go to do the zombie prologue i will stream it and let you guys know first so when i scream you can see me scream i doubt you're gonna scream um some stuff would scare me well if stuff jumps out at you I played. Prologue, I played until prologue, dawn, and that game scared the crap out of me at times. The time. prologue isn't as jumpy as is once you actually get in, and we started opening the rooms. 
that was what was jumpy. Because that's when I'm going around a corner and a zombie... We'd killed all the zombies but one. Yeah. Chris is running around and he's chasing him. And they just keep appearing randomly. Yeah, you're not by yourself. Like, you turn around and there's one... And or it there's just... one in your face. And it's like, I don't do well with jump scares. Mm-hmm. No. No, thank you. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you're focused, like I said, it's brand new. So we're focused on looking around. Is there hidden objects? Are these buttons? Are there things that we can turn and do and it is it's got all those there's other objects you there's a workbench to assemble there's you know it's Mm -hmm. everything it's almost everything that we're used to in just a different Different play on it but it's a lot more hardcore interesting yeah there's a tesla gun that's probably like that would probably be like the wonder waffle i guess yeah it might be and it might be something we have to assemble because like i said we're running around with shotguns and and uh, they got the Thompson, the Tommy gun. Uh-huh. They got the uh, the bars in it. The M1 Garand, the K- uh, Car 98. Oh yeah, well, Car 98. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of the guns that were like the, the PUBG laws right there guns. coming out. Sorry. It's just the things. Yeah. So and I started I started the campaign the the regular campaign just because I want to go through it. Which by the way it's is not, not co-op. co-op. Yep. Which we didn't know that when we got the game. So. Yeah, well, pretty much every Call of Duty though. No. Campaign. Mm-hmm. Oh, last Treyarch's was, yeah. Right. But most times they're not. You good, Brett? You done? <laughs> uh, so we kind of hijacked I'm pretty time. sure we moved on from uh, well, Origins. Oh, I was like, well, it was just in general about <laughs> yeah. what you've been playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, to get back to Origins from 10 minutes ago, um, it's a beautiful game. It's very large, lots, lots to do. Um, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's a good mix of, uh, yeah, I like it. How far are you in it? Oh, I'm probably about about 24 hours into it. Okay, um, yeah, you're way far, way past where I was. But most of my stuff is side quests because there is a lot of side quests to do, like a lot of side quests, and um, I'm like a level 24, and. I, I think just, I was like level eight when yeah, I stopped playing. I just, I just I met, feel like I need to take a couple of weeks off. Just I just met Cleopatra. It's a good so, idea. I like it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so what I've been that playing. PUBG. Besides PUBG. I have played oh. other stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because we haven't Streaming talked. Streaming PUBG, PUBG on the PC, PUBG on the Xbox. We Netflix. haven't talked in a while. So it's like I have played South Park, uh, Fractured, Fractured Butthole. Butthole. Uh, I didn't beat it. I only played a little bit of it. Need to go back to that. But I thought again, you were super excited for that. I was, but PUBG, PUBG, PUBG is life, man. PUBG, PUBG happened. Yeah, once PUBG came into the picture. PUBG's life. Uh I played Assassin's Creed Origins. I made it out of I made it to Alexandria. So I made it out of some Siva. stuff. I made it out of Siva and Alexandria. Been running around there. So I got an Xbox One X. So I've been Have you seen a big difference? Oh, when you have when you have a 4K TV, it's it, it's it's very very pretty. <laughs> well, I have a 4K TV, but I got an Xbox One S. I don't have the X. It, well, the S the, the S games. does HDR and stuff, but the games itself that support 4K and everything mm-hmm. like so. Uh, but a lot of games do support it now. I mean, hell, even Call of Duty, um, World War II had a 4K thing. It looks incredible. Yeah, I saw that option on there to change it. I haven't yeah. done it yet, but it looks incredible. You can turn on the HDR and stuff for mm-hmm. the S, but it doesn't do 4K gaming. Um, that's what you need the X for. And, um, I mean, I wasn't going to get an X, but of course, you know me and new technology. You also weren't going to get a gaming PC. Yeah. I remember that very vividly. Again, PUBG is life. <laughs> Tax money's got to pay off that credit card. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, so I played Assassin's Creed Origins, got to Alexandria, run around there a little bit. Then World War II came out, so then I started playing World War II. Really like World War Two. Multiplayer for that is actually pretty solid. Feels pretty good. Um, once I started getting some guns that I really liked and stuff along those lines, the the bar is really nice. B A R. Um, I like that. When you first got the game, too, I like they gave the sound you of that. they gave you a like free upgrade, basically like a free um, prestige unlock. So one of my friends was like, "Unlock this game, this gun, because it's like level fifty to download to get the bar." Okay. So I ultimately unlocked that one and just started using that. But then I think the MG42 is actually really good too. Um, so I've been using that. Uh, I mean, not the MG. What's the? 
I forget what the other one was that I was using a lot. It's the one that's right before the bar. Um, so it's been it's a real solid multiplayer game. I've been really really enjoying it when I've played it and stuff like that. It's a good multiplayer game. Now when Treyarch comes out this year, that's exciting because I still I will still play Black Ops Three. Is, is it Black Ops Four? I mean, <laughs> if somebody was like, "Let's play Black Ops Three right now," I would play. I love Black Ops 3. Black Ops was, was solidly one of the best series, if not the best series. I mean, I know, I know people argue Modern Warfare, but to me, Black Ops... I mean, Treyarch is... I mean, that is the their top-tier studio now. Like, Treyarch is the flagship. Um, it used to be that way. It used to be... Well, they all left. So, yeah, <laughs> Infinity War. enough. So, Treyarch became the top-tier guy. So, it'd be interesting to see what Treyarch does, because they're due this year. Yay! Um, Back in black! Black so I'm interested to see what they do. Uh, so I've been playing that, and no then more wall jumping. God bless. That's what I hated about the multiplayer in Black Ops Three. Mm-hmm. It's, it's too high techy, too too much. Yeah, and then it's just basically been PUBG, a lot of PUBG. So you got PUBG on the PC. I've been playing that. The 1.0 came out, so we got the desert map now, and so along those lines. And then PUBG on the Xbox came out, and whoo boy, that game's a little rough it, on it, the it Xbox. It is absolutely. I I. I I would like it more if I played more frequently and I started understanding more of the, like you say, I'm like, I pick up absolutely everything. I understand the difference in like a level one backpack and a level two backpack and I'm like, okay, but I'm picking up everything because I don't know what I'm going to find and what goes what till I cross it and I'm like, okay, this goes with this gun, this goes with that gun yeah. and I can get rid of these guns. It's all about finding the right attachments and finding what you expect. Like I can basically tell you right now, you just need to find, especially for, uh, when the game first came out on Xbox, boy, trying to freaking aim with that thing was impossible. Because they don't have, it doesn't have auto, it doesn't have um, aim, assist. aim assist like most shooters do. So you had to turn down your settings. You can boost it back up now. They've adjusted their settings. Four and five now starts feeling like comfortable. Because mm-hmm. it was like you had to drop it down to one. So if it wasn't on one, you would swing by whoever you were trying to shoot at. Goodness gracious. And that was the first thing um, Tim said was all right, go to your settings, go this, his, this, and this. <laughs> like, like turn okay. all of it down. <laughs> and uh but now they've uh, but they've been pushing a lot of updates um kind of things one of the f- things is people started realizing that it's nearly impossible to aim in the game at first so everyone just started getting in cars and just trying to run each other over <laughs> and so you would get to the final circle and there would be at least of the six alive three of them would be in cars and um so Blue Hole was aware of that and started making adjustments to where basically, like, weapons do obscene amount of damage to a car now. Okay. Um, to where they will blow up a car pretty easily. Um, it doesn't do nearly as much damage on the PC. But on the PC, you can aim better and just shoot the driver out of the car. Yeah. You can also <laughs> run. I get really sick of running, and then 15 steps down, I do that jig. Mm-hmm. And then I, I then I'm like aiming in a different direction when it finishes. The the rubber band had a tendency to be some problems and stuff. I mean, the game it's one of those things. It is an early preview. They are at least doing updates and to get blue hole of things. Like when you talk about like Fortnite, it's like well, Epic they've made games on console before. They know what they're doing. Whereas blue hole, they're like they were a PC company. All they've ever made is PC games. This so, feels this feels like a direct import. This feels like a, like you say a PC that's like, hey, we made it eligible for the Xbox, and we really don't know what to do after that. So they've, I mean, they got things that they need to work out. The menu system and inventory needs to be figured out. Like the biggest thing, especially right now, it doesn't do on P, on Xbox, but it does on PC. Is if when you kill somebody, and you go to loot their body and stuff along those lines. It sorts everything for you. Health is at the top. Then it does like weapons and attachments, and then it's their ammo. And so you just scroll through it and find what you need. But with a mouse, you're just saying, saying, click, click, boom, you're done. Yeah, I've seen you guys. I've watched you guys just go crazy with it, and I'm like, what? You know. Whereas know on what... Xbox, it's like health kit, grip for a gun, 27 rounds of 5.56 ammo, another grip for a gun, three rounds of 5.56 ammo. And it's like, why is this all not together? Mm-hmm. And... I have a feeling that's going to be an update coming. It's eventually they'll do that. One of the nice updates that they did recently, which you haven't probably haven't played yet, um, they have now added where at least hold down left trigger is an option to make it where it aim down sights. Hold left trigger, let go of left trigger. Because before it was just tap to aim down sights. Because yeah. it was like, because from PC, it's right click. 
and then right click to come out of it. Well, so they just transfer that to PC. So they're like tap left trigger. Now they've added word let hold down left trigger, aim down sights, let go of left trigger, unclick. Huge difference. Um, so it was. So having that ability and stuff along those lines. So there, but it's nice that they are making adjustments. Uh, and I mean, once you initially land and once you start getting rid of some of the people and stuff along those lines, once it's not a hundred people, it's like down to sixty, fifty. The game doesn't nearly jig as much. Struggle. Um, it doesn't. It's not struggling. It's not rubber banding. Your my biggest problem is that like because I am I have an Xbox One X, so things would load better on that. But I'm not streaming using that one. I'm on my old Xbox One, and so it's like buildings don't load. Like it's like it looks like yeah. a brush paint. Of where the building would be. It's like Bob Ross says, let's put a few happy little buildings over here. And so it's like I land and then I'm standing at the door going, please load. Please load. Please load. Then it'll load and I can go in and it's like some stuff's floating. It's like I play the game enough to know that there's a table that's supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. So it's like I know the table's going to spawn at some point. I'll go ahead and get my stuff now though. And so then it's just – after that, it's like it's fine. I guess – the aiming and stuff, aim, holding down left trigger, that was a game changer this last Tuesday when I played. Ooh, boy, that was a, that was nice. <laughs> and um, then it's just, I mean, when, especially when it comes to the Xbox, you want full auto, just so you can just spray an area and not try and aim nearly as much. <coughs> Sorry, that's number one. That's the first one. But then it's, uh, um, so the then time. it's just trying to, I think, but then the 1.0 for the PC and stuff. And then I've been streaming a lot. Mixer.com slash annihilator method if you want to follow. And because uh, I went and was like, you know, I kind of want to. I was like, we're, a lot of crazy stuff happens in PUBG that I was like, I would like to record or something along those lines. And I know, at least with Mixer, they do a good job of like your um, video on demand mm-hmm. will save everything that you've done for two weeks and you download the raw file okay. and edit with it. Hence, if you go to youtube.com slash target brand 2552, I've resurrected that channel and I've been saving all my stuff there. Mm-hmm. Um, I have five highlight videos. The sixth one will be out tomorrow. <laughs> Probably be out now by the time you listen to this. Um, but it's like crazy stuff happens in the game and I wanted to save it and record it or the excitement of winning a game and stuff along those lines because it's rare in that game, at least for us. Um, so the I wanted to capture that. So then it was... Well, how do I do that? And so then it was, okay, my PC has a display port out and an HDMI out. So I have an Elgato capture card already from us doing our gaming stuff and from me game capturing game videos and stuff. I was like, well, I already have that. Then I was like, well, I want. I was like, I have a camera from streaming in my theater room. And so I was like, well, I have the camera already. Then I was like, I have the microphones and mixer already. So it was like, I have all this equipment already. Why not set it up and try it? So it's like, once I got it set up, and it's like, now it's two desks wide of my PC game stuff set up and everything, but then beside me is the mixer. The laptop does all of the heavy lifting as far as, like, capturing the video and streaming all that and stuff and everything. But then my big TV, that 40-inch TV that I was used my, usually used my Xbox for, I uh, make that a second monitor for the this i put the chat up there so i can see the chat i have an hdmi switcher that i bought so i have where i can do xbox or pc whichever one i want to stream to um i created layouts and stuff along those lines so my fancy layout that i have with my camera and my name and the youtube channels and twitch you know my twitter and everything like i created all that in photoshop loaded that all up works great i was very excited about that so um you know it's fun it's something different it's like now i've been capturing these these cool wins or uh, something that be on the highlight video kind of thing of the crazy dude flying over the hill at me and rolling up the rock and flying over my head so then I kill him when he pops out. That was really funny. Um, or Andrew deciding that he was looking at his menu and then came out of his menu and drove up on a rock and got his Jeep stuck. That was really funny. Um, so just moments like that. So it's been fun streaming and stuff along those lines. You guys have popped in to watch and stuff along those lines and have left comments and stuff. It's fun. Something different to do. I see all of it, so. But that's all I've been doing. PUBG I've is been life. watching anonymously. See, Sometimes. leave comments. Say hi. I gotta sign up and all that stuff, and I haven't done that. You have a Microsoft account. Just know, use tells, that. Oh, it tells me to sign up. It says sign in. Just go to sign in and use your Microsoft account. 
You have the car, uh, Burt Chieftain. I don't know Just how sign t- in with Burt Chieftain. I don't know how technology works. Uh, <laughs> not surprised. I'm like, say, are you really? No. But he was texting me one night because he was watching Chris and I was watching Chris and. He texted me. He's like, oh, I can't believe he just ran through town and didn't get shot. So instead of using the chat and commenting, he's texting me. Yeah. Leave comments, man. Say things. It's fun. And then when I'm making fun of Chris because he's got a quiver and two shotguns, yeah. you can leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. But uh, so that's all. PUBG's been life. So... uh. The Duke controller. You want to talk about that real quick, Chris? Yes, I am very excited about that. It's finally coming out. Come so, on. You see it's going to have an LCD screen in the front yes. and in the middle that's going to do the original Xbox boot up? I'm, saying, I'm, I'm kind of stoked about it. So that is coming to it's, the... It's a, lo- it's a very... For those of you who don't know, it's the original Xbox design. The original Xbox controller before the Xbox it's controller fun. S yeah. came out. And then after that, it was all about the S. But I still kept... I had two Duke controllers when I first when I first got my Xbox, and that's all I ever used. It's I have large hands. I'm a big guy. And <laughs> the big controller like always felt good to me, but that was always a complaint. That's the reason they came up with the S controller, which is basically a similar design to the Xbox One. Where controller. we are now, yeah. But it's I mean, very similar. But if you didn't like that, like I said, I enjoyed having the Duke controller. So I'm I'm kind of excited about having that. Good. That was the only really thing I had the extra. We really didn't have anything else. Uh, we're at an hour. So I think we're good. You guys good? Anything else you yeah, want to talk about? Yeah, by the time I do it in the next one, i got several games for other other games for Christmas that yeah. have not been loaded up yet. I will be interested because I know with, since I've been streaming to Mixer and stuff and it pops up like, hey, I'm playing PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds and it shows up on my Xbox feed and stuff. I'll be interested to see if I ever do a PlayStation game and it's an exclusive if it will pop up in the Xbox feed <laughs> that I'm playing god of war or spider-man when those games come out so so i will probably stream those i gotta figure out how to wire that up that'll be fun but that's for another time anyways we are done uh, be sure to like subscribe comment that you watch this video that'd be great because i do go through a lot of work and putting this all up there and we appreciate that so uh Follow us on Twitter, Vahoma underscore podcast. I am VH underscore Annihilator. Brett is MudDauber24. Got Hank Nova 316 or Ludacris 316. Agent M. Don't follow the Agent M that's on there. It's somebody that works for like Marvel. So, uh, different Agent M. Uh, so, Agent M does not have a Twitter. So, one day. Want to use one of mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. And uh, Andrew is MetalBlade85, as always. You can follow me on Mixer as well. I stream pretty much every night now. So, 9.30 to 11.30 usually is when we're playing PUBG. Eastern. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Andrew is actually on Twitch now quite a bit. He's been streaming his PUBG and stuff on Twitch for MetalBlade85, so you can follow him there. And uh, that's it. So, we appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.